Ram Ram. Dear friends and family, for the next few weeks, we will be studying the Shri Hanuman Chalisa. The Shri Hanuman Chalisa is one of the most popular prayers we chant as Hindus. This prayer, Hanuman Chalisa, was composed by Goswami Tulsidas in the 15th century. It has 40 verses and it is written in the Avadhi dialect, which is a dialect of Hindi. This Avadhi language is still spoken in Ayodhya. So let us commence our study of Sri Hanuman Chalisa by reciting the first Doha. Sri Guru Charan Saroj Raj Nij Manu Mukur Sudhari Bar Naur Ghubar Bhimal Jasu Jodaya Kuphal Chari Goswami Tulsidasi commences the Chalisa by saying, Nij Manu Mukuru Sudhari. O Hanumanji, O Prabhu Sri Ram, bless me so that I may be able to purify my mind. I cleanse the mirror of my mind so that it will reflect the glories of Bhagavan Sri Ram and Hanumanji. Only in a clean mirror, the reflection is clear. And when the mind is purified, through worship to Bhagavan, Sri Ram and Hanumanji, we can able to see the glories of Bhagavan reflecting in our mind like that of a mirror. How do we cleanse the mind? Shri Guru Charana Saro Jaraja with the dust of the lotus feet of the Guru, meaning that we should surrender ourselves totally to the Guru, follow the teachings of the Guru. The Guru will give us Gyan, knowledge, knowledge of the self and when the mind is purified we're able to accept that gyan only that gyan will allow us will make us one with brahman goswami tulsidasi continues now ragubar bimala jasu i would like to describe the pure the noble glories of raghubar prabhu shri ram francis doha is found at the beginning of the Ayodhya Khand. And Goswami Tulsi Das is saying, I would like to describe the glories of Raghubara. But yet at the same time, the Hanuman Chalisa describes the glories of Hanumanji. So there is no distinction between Hanumanji and Bhagwan Sri Ram. But why did Tulsi Das says, I'm going to describe the spotless glories of Raghubara, the chief among the Raghus, Prabhu Sri Ram? There's a very important reason why he made such a statement. You see, my friends, we all know that Hanumanji did not take birth in the Ragukul dynasty. Dynasty. He was a Vanda. So biologically, he was not related to Bhagwan Sri Ram. But what Tulsi Das is saying, when Hanumanji met Janaki Ma or Sita Devi in Lanka, and he brought the message of Bhagavan Sri Ram to comfort her. She addressed Hanumanji as Sutta, my son. And Hanumanji in turn referred, re, referred to her as Janani, as mother. So there's a connection there. When Hanumanji came back to Bhagavan Sri Ram and brought the news of Janaki Matu Sri Ram, Sri Ram addressed him as Sutta also. Sutta meaning son. So Bhagwan Sri Ram and Sita Ma addressing Hanumanji as son is as if they adopt Hanumanji as their son. So Hanumanji becomes a part of the Raghukul dynasty, a part of Raghubara. So while Tulsi Das is describing the glories of Sri Ram, he's describing the glories of Hanumanji at the same time. And Hanumanji can be called a Raghubara because he's, he is the adopted son of Sita Ma and Bhagavan Sri Ram. So when we chant the Chalisa, what do we get in return? Jo Dayaku Palachari. By chanting this Chalita, Chalisa with faith and devotion, we'll be blessed with the four goals of human life, Dharma. By the grace of Bhagavan, we will do our, our duty to the best of our ability. We will do the right thing at the right time. We will live a dharmic life. The next goal we'll get is artha, material wealth and luxury in life. We're entitled to that when we do our prayers and we worship Bhagavan with faith and devotion. 
The third thing we'll get is calm, pleasures of the world. And the fourth and final, which is to my mind the most important, that is moksha, oneness with Bhagavan. At the end of this life, we'll become one with Bhagavan. So my friends, this is what the first Doha of Sri Hanumanji Chalisa has to say. Next week, we will continue. Boli Ram Chandra Bhagavan ki jai, Pavanusuta Hanuman ki jai.